He's hanging in there. Is he okay? Well, right now his blood pressure is dropping and we're having a hard time getting him stabilized. But you will, though, right? How bad is this? What about blood transfusion? We've given him six units already. And he's not responding? Is anyone here B negative? Negative, I don't remember. Sure. It's relatively rare. Have you called other hospitals? What we, we need can... right now is blood. No problem. Where do I go? Since sign me up. Okay. Put me on the list. We can only handle a couple at a time. Pierce, Dimitri. Dimitri. Certainly I could do this on my own, but it would be much more comfortable if I did this with you. What, what, you're, what you're actually considering giving blood? Trevor, of course I am. I mean, if you're thinking that there are still drugs in my system... Oh, Erica, that thought didn't even enter my mind. Well, that's good, because I would never consider... Look, I am totally clean. Erica, I, I know that. It's just that blood packs and IVs, won't that be difficult for you? I'm not a hothouse plant. No, you're certainly not the... Come on, let's go. Would you watch what you have to say around Tim? What? What did I do? He's lost two mothers. I don't think you have to sound the death knell for his father. I didn't mean to frighten him. What are you going to learn to think before you say something? I'm sorry if my waiting room manner is not... No, I'm sorry. Dr. Tim's lucky you're, you're here. But other than that, the operation's going okay, right? It really is too early to say. Yeah, I, I understand about the blood pressure and everything, but once he has the transfusion, do you think everything's going to be okay? Believe me, Haley. Believe me, we are doing everything we can. Hang in there. Tim, I know it seems like it's forever, but it's it's really only been a short time. And no news is good news. Right? Okay. So, uh, you're done? Yeah. Be negative? Yeah. Be positive. You would think with all these people that we there would be a match. Where are you going? Blood bank. Oh no, Tim, you're too young to to lie on a table. They're not gonna take blood from a boy your age. How old am I anyway? So you don't even know. And neither will they if nobody says anything. Tim, no. This isn't up to you. Hey, hey, listen, sorry about that, sport. The, uh, the blood bank is jammed and I'm next. Nobody wants you here anyway. You don't care about my family. Yes, I do. Wherever you go, something bad happens. Just go away. Leave us alone. <clears throat> Laurel's dead because of that jerk. He's got no right to be here. He doesn't know what he's saying. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. It's not his fault. I'm amazed he's still on two feet. How much family can one kid lose? And why isn't Michael here to support him? That's what I because want. Because somebody had to be with Amanda. Right. Hey, you match yet? No. Okay, be negative. Hold that thought. Brooke, have you seen Erica? Uh, she wasn't at the blood bank. Oh, she, uh, she got a little queasy. <laughs> She almost fainted. She's a real trooper, though. Well, uh, you know, she doesn't uh, back away from things. The lab technicians actually had to throw her out. <laughs> I have apple juice, orange juice, muffins, Danish. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks, Eric. I'm also available to make phone calls. <laughs> you are absolutely incredible. I make my modest contribution. Well, I wouldn't say too modest. I'd say that... Who's with the kids? 
Uh, don't worry about it. I just dropped them off at school. At school? Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know it was that late. Feels like time is frozen here. Mission accomplished. Oh, great. Just in time. He needs a transfusion now. Okay. Tim. Timmy. Uh, let him go. Let him go. He needs some space right now. Okay. I thought I could help. Yeah, yourself. Nothing says you care like a cameraman primed to roll tape. You don't understand. Go haunt somebody else's family. That's exactly the point, Haley. In order to air an entire hour on Trevor's accident, that would require a lot of padding. Perfect opportunity to air Trevor's last appearance on the cutting edge, tending to his dying wife. Cue the carnage. You wouldn't do it, would you? We wouldn't do you it. Never drop the ball. Security it's going to be out of the job. Wait tomorrow. a second. You have misunderstood. I have contacts here. They considered my offer and felt I could approach you. You do some hospital flunky, but this territory is off limits. No depraved scandal mongers allowed here. I dug through the ornaments. I hope she's on duty all year round. Just leave and we'll pretend this didn't happen. What's going on here? Liza, go ahead. What were you thinking? What I was thinking was that the hospital is low in Trevor's blood type and that you should make an on-air appeal for donors. With Adam's approval, of course. You have my approval. If we can help the hospital restock be negative, it's one less thing that you have to worry about. Get started. I'm not here to exploit anyone. I've given blood. I know it can be a lifesaver. Oh, come on, Pops. No quid pro quo. I meant what I said. Tad, you want to get going? Not here. Take it outside. Fine. The truck's out front. Why don't you go ahead and do it? On camera? As I've been up half the night. Tad, you're a familiar face. They'll look up from their coffee cups. Tad, come on, for Trevor's sake. Oh, that's wonderful. He's alert. Well, he, he's groggy, but we'll know more soon. So what made the difference? Trevor's Trevor. <laughs> I think he pulled through for Tim and Amanda. I think that's what made the difference. Oh. Well, you certainly kept me from biting my nails. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the worst is over. I hope so. I guess uh, the family takes over from now on. I think I'll come back when Trevor's stronger. No, I'm sure Maria will keep us updated. Oh, I miss my mother. Well, this hospital was Mona's life's work. If only I think that I was her full-time job. You know that Mona was proud of you, your courage, your spirit. Well, my mother was the one who was courageous, Dimitri. I mean, when she heard her diagnosis, she made preparations for, for not surviving, and uh, she just wanted to die with dignity. Erica, she did. But I wanted her to live so much. I was so angry. I just insisted that she live. I know. I know. Well, I loved her so much, and I needed her. And I still do. She's in our memories. We never know how much time we have. Well, moment to moment. I mean, we should never close our hearts, Dimitri. Not even for a moment. I think that Trevor's progress is cause for celebration. How, how about having dinner with me? Oh, that would be lovely. Now? You hungry? I mean, I could use a little time just to, um, catch my breath. Well, I'll, uh, I'll call the valley in, and you'll be at London. If they don't have your favorite table, uh, do we still have a date? I think the company's more important than the location. Why don't you tell the truck to get going? Okay. 
How's Trevor? Nancy said it was touch and go. No, he's better now. He just regained consciousness. Thank God for that. Is, is there any chance I can see him? Uh, Tim and Michael are in there with him, so I'd wait. Anybody have any idea what Trevor was doing out taking a spin in the monsoon we had last night? He was doing Janet a favor. Doing Janet a favor? He wanted to take Janet to see Amanda. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, this, this still doesn't add up. Jack, Janet was leaving Pine Valley. She was saying goodbye. Eat slowly. You're gonna have to wait to see Brooke. You really need your rest right oh, now, no. Trevor. Trevor, Trevor, Guys, we gotta go, okay? No. Doctor's order. How come he can't speak? Did he have a stroke or something? It's just the medication. He's almost in a dream state right now. No. It must be a bad dream. Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Jack. Jack, help. Uh, help. You'll have to leave. Jack, he's he's really getting Jack, agitated help. right now. Yeah, I can see that. He's reorienting, Jack. and he it's really not a good thing. Help. Okay. All right, I'm not, I'll, I'll, I'll Jack. come back. Thanks a lot. Um, Jack. He keeps asking for her. For Brooke, I'll, Jack. I'll find her. Jack. What about Janet? Jack, Jack. you really got Just wait a minute. What about Janet? Janet? Janet. Are you two, uh, are you two leaving now? Uh, we thought we would in a little while. Stick around. I, I think Trevor would like to see you. Oh. We'd love to see him. He's asking for you, bro. Oh, that's great. Repeatedly. What well, did he... Has he said anything else? Nothing. Well, that's not quite true. He did mention Janet just now. Are you, are you feeling okay? <laughs> yes. And you don't have any injuries or anything? No, I'm fine. Because... Trevor seems a little concerned about your health. Maybe he's hallucinating. When was the last time either one of you saw Janet? You know, am I in the hospital or the DA's office? Look, if Trevor is not hallucinating, and he's trying to make some connection between you and Janet. Trevor was concerned. He thought that I was becoming a little too friendly with Janet. Friendly with Janet? We weren't friends, but we do have a connection because of Laura. Well, I thought Trevor had quit taking the hard line with Janet anyway. Well, after Janet was cleared of Laurel's murder, yes, they did strike up a truce. Yeah, well, obviously this truce didn't stick. I don't think it was very genuine to begin with. Well, I'm sorry, but how can you possibly expect Trevor to forgive Janet? He didn't have to forgive her, he just had to back off. He thought that Janet was a little bit jealous of my friendship with Pierce. Jealous enough to hurt you, Brooke? Jealousy's her Achilles heel. Look Damn at her right. record. Why don't you guys give her a break? Janet came to my house a couple of weeks ago. She needed some help because she had been mugged. That's odd. I didn't hear anything about that. Did she file a police report? No, she didn't file a police report. She didn't want to because she didn't think that they would believe her. <laughs> Imagine that. Did she seem shaken up, bruised, anything? Jack, I believed her then and I believe her now. And frankly, you're worse than Trevor. You mean to tell me she told Trevor about this? Trevor was at my house that night, and he made a bad situation worse. Well, I'm sure Trevor had his reasons to think that Janet was up to her old tricks. Well, she duped him twice and then murdered a man in his name. That'll do it. New concerns, new reasons? Mm-hmm. Any theories, Brooke? None. All right, let's go. I am not going to keep Laura away from the one person that she trusts, and I am not going to live in fear. I wouldn't want you to. Listen, one more question. Did, uh, did Janet actually see Amanda? Janet has left town, as far as I know, without saying goodbye to her daughter. Maybe it was too painful to face. Is Amanda here? Is she here? She's at pre-K. Are you picking her up? Yeah, but I think we still have a little time. No, no, well, maybe you do and maybe you don't. If I was you, I would go get her before somebody else does.